Hi, this is Wasim from Clever Service, and in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you how to use a um, how to create a website, a responsive website, without having to use Bootstrap for this. Now, don't get me wrong; I really like Bootstrap. I use it in a lot of my projects, and I think it's a great framework. But the problem with Bootstrap is most of the time you don't you don't really need the the whole library, the whole thing. Because if you, if you have taken a look, a deep look at Bootstrap, you will see that you have a lot of files to manage. Uh, you have a lot of files like the jQuery libraries, like the uh, JavaScript files, and the images, and everything in between. And there's also CSS files and stuff like that. So whenever you use Bootstrap in your project, primarily you're using a lot of resources that you most probably don't need. So in my opinion, if you don't need the whole bootstrap thing, what I can recommend is to use your own uh, CSS to manage to create a, a responsive website without having to use all the uh, files associated with bootstrap. So what you really need in this case is a something called a grid system. A grid system is actually a system which lets you uh, have your content uh, to get adaptive or responsive within the device which uh, you're viewing the content on. So, um, you need to go to a website called uh, responsivegradesystem.com and what this website does is uh, there is a generator which creates a, uh, a set of uh, CSS files for you depending on your needs. If you've ever used Bootstrap before you will know that it's based on 12 column, uh, 12 column layout so uh, it's up to you whether to choose 2 up to 12 but it's recommended if you need a uh, something similar to bootstrap you'll have to select 12 and you can keep the margin to the default and then click on calculate and what you get here is a list of uh, of html content and some css content what we're doing here is we're copying the CSS content into uh, our local CSS file. So I have here Dreamweaver, but you can use any HTML uh, and CSS editor of your needs. And I have a basic, an empty basic HTML5 document, and a CSS file called styles associated with it. So I'm going to styles and pasting everything that the site generated for us and I will hit save to have my files saved. Then if I go back to my index.html file, I can check this site to see some content they have. So I'm gonna grab uh, some pieces of this, like two divisions, and I'm gonna stick them into my body. And uh, as you can see, it's very simple. Let's, let's just leave things around to make it simpler than what they're saying. So we have basically two divisions, and each of these is uh, is a column, and it is a span one of twelve, which means this uh, division will occupy one out of uh, out of twelve possible divisions on the same line, and those lines will get adaptive depending on the device you're using. So in our case, we'll be using eight in the first division and we will have four remaining for the second part and uh, let's put some content in between those so let's say this is division number one and I'm copying the same text and pasting it in between, between uh, the second division and I'm gonna see this in Chrome so I'm gonna open the index file in Chrome to see how that looks like. Uh, I know this might not look to you like it's uh, something you can understand, but if you can see, this is division no number one, which is occupying always uh, the 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 amount of uh, spans that you specify, which is eight out out of twelve. So uh, let's make this a bit uh, more clearer and. If you go to the, set, the first uh, division, let's add another class called uh, color div, and let's copy that one and go to our CSS file and go to the top and assign 
a background color to this one. Let's pick a color. And um, let's pick this one and uh, hit save and refresh the page to see what happened. So as you can see, this division uh, is occupying almost, it's exactly occupying eight spans out of 12. But uh, in most cases, you will need those divisions centered. So what you need to do is to get back to the uh, HTML5 document and add a container. So let's add a container and um, we need to specify some set some settings for this container so uh, at the top of your CSS file let's add a maximum width of uh, 1200 pixels and uh, we'll set the padding to zero and we'll set the margin to uh, zero auto to center content and lastly we'll text align the content to the center so if you hit refresh now you will see this is occupying the width we've specified which is uh, 1200 pixels and what's really nice about this about this um, uh, grid system is now any content you put in this one in this uh, division is going to be reflected depending on the device size so let's just uh, minimize the browser to see how this will look like on smaller devices so as we click and drag we will start to see how the divisions uh, get smaller but they still uh, are the same aspect ratio that you uh, specify depending on the amount of spans in your initial setup so as you as you keep scrolling uh, this you will see this is where we hit the mobile browser and um, you can see that division one occupies now the full width and division number two has been sent below of it because the order is number one goes first because this is the division which comes in HTML first and if we have a different number here it would be possible that division number two would still up there so really you need to get to this and try and experiment yourself with it but here's another tip you need to know about this responsive grid whenever you need you use an, an image in one of the divisions you will need to make sure that this division uh, or this image is responsive so let's let's add an image and see how that works so instead of the content in division number two let's delete that and add an image let's browse that and go to the images folder I have a koala picture here and let's set the all to koala and uh, lastly we'll assign this a class called responsive image this hasn't been um, this hasn't been uh, placed in the CSS file yet so let's copy this and again at the top of your CSS file let's add some style to this I like this trick which is you set the width at auto and the height to auto and then you set again the maximum width to 100% okay let's for a, mem mom for a moment comment that out and see how would the document look with the koala picture so as you can see we have the scrolling horizontal bar right now and we can't really see the whole picture because it's not responsive so when we apply these styles to the image this is what you get the image is responsive and as you scroll the browser and give it more uh, more space you will see the the picture of the koala will go up and what's really interesting is if you scroll down the browser size and until you hit the mobile you will see that this picture will occupy the full screen which is really great for a mobile device because you will be able to see the image with uh, with a clear vision in this uh, in this case so I know this is just tip of the iceberg there's a lot more to cover there's a lot more styling this is nothing I, I know you may say this is not a website but for anyone who does uh, create website will understand what I'm saying here and how useful this will be for everyone who's not gonna be using bootstrap, bootstrap in their project 
I'm not going to cover how to create a whole website or how to uh, arrange things and do stuff like uh, create a navigational website and stuff like that. This is not a web design course. It's a small tip to show everyone how to create a website without the use of Bootstrap. Unless you really need it, use it. Otherwise, just use what's called responsivegridsystem.com. It's a simple CSS files. You don't have to insert tons of files or you don't have to put files and images that you don't use. Use your own styles and it's guaranteed that everything will go just responsive. Just use these settings that I've provided and you can add your own as well as you go up and create the layout for your whole website. I really hope this was helpful to you. And if you like it, please share this video and comment on it if you have any questions. Now, if you're someone who doesn't do web design and are interested in what we're doing, then please contact us on this email and uh, you can ask any questions. You can ask for a free quotation and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks everyone for watching.